What is up guys, it's Cal, and here we are once again going after another secret. So patch 8.1 just came out, and with this patch finally came the Fabled Mount that has been talked about for some time now. I think it was Datamind uh, with the pre-patch of Battle for Azeroth, but it's the Hive Mind Mount, which is the giant brain jellyfish looking mount. Now, as of recording this segment right now, the entire thing has not been found out yet. Uh, in fact, we are about, let's see, I'm looking at the Wowhead progress. We are 11 hours and 24 minutes in to solving this, and the first clue has not been found yet. So it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, I feel like it's going to take some time. And now also something else to state is that uh, everything in this video, all of these clues and whatnot were discovered from the WoW Secrets Discord community. They're the ones that find all of these secrets. They've done the Kazumoth the Hungering, they've done the Riddler's Mindworm, of course Lucid Nightmare, and uh, plenty of other secrets that are in this game. They've discovered. It's a big community. Everyone can join. More, more minds are better. And that's what brings us to the hive mind. So as I've just mentioned earlier, uh, this thing has not been found out yet as of recording right now, but if there are any specific items, I will interject them in post right now. Okay, so I've come from the future after already getting the hive mind to let you know that there isn't particularly anything you need prior to getting this mount. Just that later on, you will need to get a group of five people, including yourself, which I explain much further in the video. And then on top of that, towards the start of the video, I talk about four different monocles that you need to get, which takes up about 80% of this video. You do not need all four of the monocles. You technically don't even need one if you're with people who are very nice. You really should get at least one monocle though, it will be easier to find a group for later on. Uh, the green monocle in Skyreach is the easiest to get. Okay, I, I guess I'll find out if there's anything that's needed. So you guys can uh, prepare for this without trying to, you know, figure out what you need in the middle of discovering the secret. So anyways, that's enough blabbering. Let's get to the first clue of this amazing mount. All right, so the first clue has finally been found. Uh, it took about uh, two and a half-ish days from when 8.1 came out, but I'm proud of the uh, Secrets Discord for finding it. But anyways, uh, what we have to do here to start off this hive mind journey is come to Shatterath in Outland, and you're going to go right here in the lower city, right here to this location, because this is where a guy named Grifta is. Talk to Grifta, and you might already have this item, but just in case you don't, Go ahead and buy it. Uh, it is the Talisman of True Treasure Tracking. It's only 28 gold. So go ahead and purchase that. Now when you purchase it and uh, when you equip it, you can take a look at the table behind him and uh, several items do end up glowing. So there's a red one here that's a fish, a green one that's a feather, a yellow one that's a pyramid, and then a blue one that is a letter. So these correspond to uh, areas where you have to go in the world of Warcraft, and uh, there are puzzles there. So I'll go ahead and tell you what they are right now. The red one corresponds to Vashir. The uh, green one corresponds to, uh, was I think Skyreach. The yellow one is Halls of Origination, and the blue one has, uh, actually the blue one has not been discovered as of recording this at this moment, but when we get there, I'll obviously tell you where it is. So let's actually head to uh, Vashir first. So here we are in Vashir. Now I have a lot of these uh, marks, these things marked on my map. All of these will be in the description, but I will of course uh, show where these locations are when I get to them on my map in case you do not have a coordinate add-on. Here we are at uh, Sir Flinley and or Sir Finley at 4420 and the Shimmering Expense. And I'm going to talk to him. You want to have your treasure tracking amulet on because a bunch of fish throughout Vashir become interactable if you have that on. So we're going to talk to him. Now let's, um, come on, let's need to get in the right position. Okay, so he sells seashells by the seashore. Anyways, he, sell these, he sells these seashells for one gold each. This is kind of the starting block on how to uh, finish this puzzle. Now he also sells this uh, scintillating Murloc skin lotion for this currency. He also sells this red monocle crystal for this currency. Now the red monocle crystal is what you want to complete this, uh, to complete this puzzle. So if we look at these items that he sells, captured a uh, cavitation bubble, you see that there's a duration there, 30 minutes. 
This next one, Potent Gastropod Gloop, has a 30 minute duration, and then this other one, which is what he sells right here, has a duration of one hour, scintillating murloc skin lotion. So the idea of this is you have to go to various fish around Vashir, you have to purchase things from them very quickly, do things back and forth very quickly, I'll of course show all of that right here, um, but it, you do have a time limit. So this thing lasts an hour, uh, these other things last 30 minutes, so you gotta get the idea, you have a time limit until you finally buy this red crystal monocle. So. What I'm about to say, you have to do fast, so with that being said, uh, I would highly recommend if you haven't already to at least do the starting quests of Vashir. I know everyone hates Vashir, but at least do them until you can get to the, uh, what is it, the Vashir Seahorse. Because this increases your speed in Vashir by 370%. Uh, if you do have a, a mount, some underwater mount, that might work too. I know the Fathom Dweller from Kazumat the Hungry is 270%. Uh, if you have the Artifact Fishing Pole, that's like 170-ish percent, something like that. And I know, of course, Druids have their, uh, have their Orca form, or whatever, their underwater form. But you do need some fast thing to move through the waters of Vashir, if you have not done the Vashir starting quest, at least. If you have, then I would recommend using the Vashir Seahorse. Anyways, let's get started on uh, what we have to do. So we're going to, we're going to buy this Scintillating Murloc Skin Lotion first. So we need to get these two items. So to get these two items, what we're going to do from uh, Sir Kinley Murgleton is we're going to purchase 500 seashells. It's 500 gold. They do have a 30 minute duration. So I've just purchased them. Now with them, we need to go to Sir Violet. Sir Violet someone who is, where are you Sir Violet? Okay, we need to go to Southern Abyssal Depths. Okay, we are in Southern Abyssal Depths right now. Let's see, only... Five minutes has gone by, so we're we're in the clear right now. Make sure you do buy 500 seashells, by the way. If you didn't notice my last clip, I bought 255. I then had to go back and buy an extra 245. Anyways, Southern Abyssal Depths right here. Uh, this waypoint is slightly off, but it's around 3877. It is an eel. Talk to him. And we're going to purchase these cavity uh, great shark tooth. So we need 100 of them. Oh, we can purchase 100 of them because they're five seashells each. Uh, let me just delete these extra five seashells. I don't need them. Okay. Okay, these only last five minutes. I didn't realize that. Manta Stargazer. Okay, we have to go back to Sir Flinley. Jesus. We have five minutes to save the world. Okay, we're coming up to the flight path now. What I did was I took this uh, Dark Beats Co. flight path and then went to Sandy Beach right up here. Okay. Let's get on my flying mount. This is a manta ray, which is close to the surface. We have less than two minutes. Is that him? Yes, okay. So now at him, we need to buy a 250, or wait, no, we have to buy, what do we buy? We buy, no, 50 of these things. So buy 50 razor eel larva. This has, okay, 50 seconds. This also has a five minute timer. I purchased 50 of those, five minute timer. Now I'm going to head to the next location. I'm just going to fly. If I'm being quite honest, forget the forget the underwater mounts. I'm just flying there. Uh, we need to go Little Whaley, which is here at 6941. And this one's going to be much easier because it's much closer. Okay, there he is. Yeah, he, uh, I had to get really close to him for him to actually render. So let's see. Uh, that was about a minute, so we're good there. Okay. So I have, to, I have a little bit of breathing room here. So from Little Whaley, we're going to purchase 250 of these things. Now, when we purchase 250 of these things, we need to go to the Gloomy Bluefish. Gloomy Bluefish is... This is where Little Whaley is, by the way. In case you didn't see before. Gloomy Bluefish is, I guess... Yeah, okay, over there. Abyssal uh, depths. Okay, I'm just gonna... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use my flying mount. Forget about underwater mounts. Um, let's buy it all. I need to buy 250, right? Yeah, 250. Can I buy 100 at a time, it seems like. Okay, that didn't work. Keep going. Buy them all. Okay, I now have 250. Okay, coming up to the gloomy bluefish now. We're at the abyssal depths right here. It's by the abyssal breach is where this fish is. Remember, okay, I think I have to go all the way down. Yeah, all the way down to the seafloor. So 
The underwater... Don't dis disregard the underwater mounts completely. They're definitely useful. You kind of need some fast underwater thing. Uh, but yeah. So I have three minutes, so I think I'm good. This one's at 65. 38. Gloomy bluefish. From the gloomy bluefish, we're going to end up buying some freshly molted crab skin. So, oh, look at that guy. What? Well, he's going really fast. Let's travel for him. I dig it. And here we are. Okay, so I do have some time. Okay, so we're going to go to Old Fish Breath after we buy that. Oh, I think Old Fish Breath's in Kelplar. Yep. So, go to this location after you buy these 10. 10 of these. Okay, getting near Old Fish Breath. If you did not see before, it's right here at 6059 in Kelpthar Forest. Uh, here he is. Old Fish Breath. Now with him, we're going to purchase these... How much time do I have? Three minutes. Okay, good. We're going to purchase 50 of these glittering... Uh, glitter Gill Glitters. Now remember, we need 50 of these for the Scintillating Murloc Skin Lotion. Because notice that their duration is 30 minutes. So, we will keep these in our inventory until we get the scintillating Murloc skin lotion, which we still need another item before we can buy that. Anyways, we're going to buy 50 of these. Uh, I've already started buying them. We're going to buy 50 of these. Now, we're going to purchase, or now we're going to go back to the Murloc dude. We're going to go back to the Murloc dude, who is right near us. He is right here, Sir, Fli Sir Finley. And we're going to purchase uh, ADC shells. So, let's... Let's go over there. Okay, we're coming up to him now. Remember throughout this entire thing, getting this uh, getting this first puzzle done, or getting this puzzle done, whatever, uh, you do need the Talisman of True Treasure Tracking on. You need that on to interact with all these fish. Anyways, talk to the Murloc and buy 80 seashells. Now we're going to go to the Gloomy Blue Fish once again, which I believe... Glo yeah, Gloomy Blue Fish in the abyssal depths so he's he's pretty close to us make sure you bought those 80 seashells head to him and we'll buy our next item okay we're at the gloomy bluefish and remember if you forget he is right here 6538 by the abyssal uh, breach he's around this area so with him we're going to purchase these giant uh, toenail clippings we're going to buy two we can only buy two of them actually so we're gonna buy two of them now we're gonna go to little carp little carp is north Abyssal Depths at 4517. Coming up to Little Carp now. Remember, he's right here, North Abyssal Depths. 4517. We're going to buy um, some Makrura eyes from him. Oh, here he is. Little Carp. We're going to buy, yeah, we're going to buy four Makrura eyes. And then we have to go to the. Let's go and buy those. Now, we have to go to the. Uh, Violet, Violet scale again, who is down here south. Am I moving? Yeah, okay. South Abyssal Depths at 3877. And make sure you bought those four Makrura eyes, obviously. Coming up to the uh, Volatile Violet scale. I think the last cl clip I called them Violet, Violet scale. But the Volatile Violet scale right here, 3877. And from how are we doing on our. We have uh, 23 minutes on our Glitter Gill Glitter. Doing pretty good on that so far. Let's go to him. We're going to buy one of these. Now, once we buy one of these, we need to go to the Crimson Angerfish. Let's see where he is first. Crimson Angerfish is in South Shimmering Expense. So buy one of these. Now let's head to South Shimmering Expense to 5388. We are nearing the Crimson Anglerfish. Remember? South Shimmering Expense. Yep, Shimmering Expense. And he's right here. Now with him, we're getting close to getting our first piece for the monocle. With him, stop moving, please. With him, we're going to purchase, um, okay, dude. We're going to purchase two, what do we purchase? Two shiny sea serpent things. Stop. No, we actually purchase, no, we, we purchased three of them. We only need two. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Uh, well, now we have to go to the Manta Stargazer. It is North Shimmering Expense. So let's head there. Manta Stargazer right here. If you don't remember, it's around 5322. He's near the surface though. So make sure you're on your flying mount and you'll be able to see him. Now we're going to purchase 40 of these. Um, we can probably delete our shiny 
Sea Serpent Scale, but let's not for right now. Now, after we've purchased 40 of those, how are we doing on our Glitter Gill Glitter? Am I going the right way? Um, yeah, I am. Okay, we need to go to Sir Finley. I have uh, 20... Okay, 19 minutes, so we are good. You have plenty of time with this thing. How much time does this last? 30 minutes? Okay, we can now purchase our first item for the red monocle. Oh, okay, we need five of these. I was like, wait, we have way, we have way too much supplies. Okay, so let me um, look at where we need to go next after we purchase these. Then we need to buy 300 seashells. Okay, so after we purchase five of these, we have an hour to get to the next two items. And remember, the next two items have a 30 minute duration to them. So let's buy five of these. We're good. Five of those. Now we need to purchase 300. Okay, you can only purchase uh, 255 at a time. So let's purchase 40 more. Now that we have those, let me put this to the side just in case. Now that we have those, uh, we need to go to Old Fish Breath. Old Fish Breath is near us. He's in Kelp. Kelpthar Forest. Old Fish Breath is around here somewhere. He's above me. Okay. Talk to him. And we're going to purchase... I have... Okay. I'm good on time. Anyways. I'm going to purchase these uh, Vantus Black Squids. You need 30 of these. But then after I purchase these, we need to go to the Blackfish, which I believe is in Abyssal Depths. Okay. He's at the exact opposite point of Ashir. Let's buy 30 of these, right? 30 of those. We need 30 of these uh, things. What are they? Vantus Black Squid Ink. Now we're going to fly uh, all the way to the opposite end of Vashir. Hopefully we make it in time. Because that would be very unfortunate if we didn't. Okay, we are coming up to the Blackfish here at 1582. Abyssal Depths. I think we need to go all the way down here. Yeah, I can see him down there. And we have, okay, we're, we're actually good on time. We have less than three minutes. Just, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Now from him, we're going to buy, uh, we're gonna buy 30 super slick eel slimes. Super slick eel slimes. We need 30 of these. Uh, yep, just making sure. Now we're going to, I guess I'll just go there on my underwater mount. But we're going to go to the uh, Volatile Violet Scale once again. Volatile Violet Scale is... Where are you at? Oh yeah, right here. Now from the Volatile Violet Scale, which if you don't remember, around this area, 3877 in Abyssal Depths. Abyssal Depths. Talk to him, we're going to buy three Rock Encrusted Welk Shells. And then we need to go to Little Carp. Little Carp. Yeah. Okay. North Abyssal Depths. Let's go there. Yeah, 4517. If you don't remember where Little Carp is and it's Abyssal Depths. North of North Abyssal Depths. And where is he? I just oh here he is. Okay, so now from him we are going to purchase the potent gastropod gloop. Which is the second item we need for the red monocle. So these last two, so these two items, these last two items after the scintillating blue merlock skin, whatever it is, merlock lotion, these last two items don't take as long to get. So we're going to buy five of these. Uh, we're actually going to buy six of them. But anyways, and I have 52 minutes still left on my scintillating merlock skin, so we're good. But remember these last 30 minutes. So now we have to go back to Sir Sir Merlockton. Okay, we have to buy 1,500 seashells. Jesus. We are at the Murloc dude. If you don't remember where he is, Shimmering Expanse. Right here, Sir Finley, 4420. We're going to talk to him by 1,500 seashells. So you can only buy, what, 250 at a time or 255 at a time? Okay, so these are one gold each. We are, let's see, we're buying 1,500 now. The first one required 500. That's 2,000. And then the one after that, or the one before that, was 300, right? That's what the gastropod loop was. So we're 2,300 gold in the hole right now. I mean, there's probably some macro I can use or something to buy 1,500 immediately. Anyways, we have 1,500. That's what we need. Now we need to go to Lil Whaley. Lil Whaley. Okay, well, Lil Whaley's not far. He's at the east side of Shimmering Expanse at 6941. 
Lily Whaley is around here somewhere. There he is. Remember? East side of Shimmering Expanse. Talk to him. And we're going to purchase 300 very pretty coral. Okay, um, 250. Excuse me? 50? Wait, 100. Let's see that. Okay. I don't know what is happening right now. We have... Okay, they only stack up to 100 apparently. We have to uh, go to old, old Fish Breath. Old Fish Breath is... Let me redo my things. He's at 60, 59, and... Kelpthar Forest. Old Fish Breath is right here, remember? 6059 Kelpthar Forest. What the heck? He was just he was just in front of me. Excuse me? Oh, okay, he's he's hiding. Okay. Talk to him. We're going to purchase these iridescent shimmering uh, shimmering skins. And we need a hundred of them. Let's buy 99. Okay. Now we need to go to the Crimson Angerfish. Which is obviously in Abyssal Depths. No. Which is obviously in Shimmering Expanse. Okay, yeah. South Shimmering Expanse. Okay, 5388. Southern Shimmering Expanse. We're gonna talk to the Crimson Angerfish. And, okay. Thankfully, he stops moving now. We're gonna buy 20 of these luxurious look scale... Stop moving, please. Did I buy them? Okay, I did. And now we need to go to the Blackfish. So the last one we need to go to. The last fish we need to go to at least. So let's head there. I remember he is at the far point. Yeah, so the far point in Abyssal Depths. Okay, coming up to the Blackfish now. Remember, he is at 1582 in Abyssal Depths. And he sells us our very last item we need. Talk to him. We need to buy five captured cavitation bubbles. Five of these. There we go. Now let's swim to the surface, and we have to go to the Murloc once again, Sir Finley. Let me redo my macros. Oh, here he is. Sir Finley's right there. All right, we are coming up to Sir Finley here now. If you don't remember, he is on land. He's a Murloc 4420, right here in the Shimmering Expanse. And before we buy this red monocle, let's see, we have 39 minutes left on our scintillating Murloc skin lotion, 17 minutes on our potent gastropod gloop, and then 28 minutes on our captured cavitation bubble. So, these things aren't really as pressed for time, it's mainly those those 5 minute ones. So anyways, we're going to talk to him, and we're going to buy our red crystal monocle. Yes. Thank you. I have one extra of these, let's sell it. Merchant doesn't sell that, okay, whatever. Anyways, uh, this has no time on it, thankfully. Don't worry, it says inscribed around the edge of the monocle in remarkably tiny lettering. P-O-T-Y-A-B-U-V-F-X. So hold on to this, you need this, do not lose it. And uh, yeah, so that's that's really the entire thing for Vashir. Uh, just what I would do is you would use your flying mount to fly to each of these locations and then use some speed increaser to go underwater to those locations. So now we're going to go to the uh, Halls of Origination. Halls of Origination. Now if you don't remember what that is, we are in Oldham. Oldham right here, Halls of Origination. Is right here let's go into the instance portal now the last clue getting the red monocle wasn't really difficult it just took a lot of time really uh this one seems like it might actually be difficult i don't know we'll see here in a second so let's uh, let's enter the dungeon okay we have entered the dungeon and then there's an elevator uh i believe this is the elevator it's been a while since i've been in this this dungeon but let's head to that elevator okay this is, this is the elevator. So make sure you have your talisman tr uh, treasure tracking on. You need this equipped. And to this, there's a stellar refraction device under here that we can interact with. Let's click that. And there's a bunch of things underneath me that activated. I am lagging super hard. Okay, that was weird. So that was some bad FPS lag. Okay, anyways, we're, uh, we need to go down there. So we're gonna head north. This elevator through this way. And then there should be a way to get under the elevator. Yep, right here. Right here. It doesn't matter what difficulty you do this dungeon on. That should be obvious, doesn't matter. Anyways, we're under, okay. This place has some real bad FPS lag. We're under here. Okay, the idea behind this 
is you want to get all of these uh, all these lights here. There's a red thing, there's a yellow one, a green one, like a whitish blue one. I, I think it's blue. You need them to be all the same color. Now you have these modules that you can interact with. There, uh, there's there are stellar refractors. This is a round one. If I click this, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks around it will change color. Um, let's not click it right now. Actually, yeah, I'll click it. Anyways, they change to a different color. This is an angular solar refractor. When I click this, all the colors that go north, south, east, and west of it will change color. See how they change color? And they stop at the next refractor, by the way. So it's not like the entire line. And then the last one is this one, which is a jagged stellar refractor. And as you can tell, this one makes all the ones in the diagonal motion change color. So we need to make all of these be the same color. So let's, uh, let's, let's, let's do that. Okay guys, I have an announcement. Uh, this one is absolutely horrible. Getting this monocle, the yellow monocle, is the worst thing ever. It may just be worse than the Lucid Nightmare maze. Uh, actually, probably not. That's that's going a bit too far. But anyways, I've been I was trying to do this for a good solid two hours. I banged my head against the wall for two hours, getting literally nowhere. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, which I will add this in post earlier on, but I would highly recommend if you want to try to do this by yourself. I would highly recommend doing it on normal, so you don't actually get saved because. When I first came in here, I did it on Heroic, and you do have to kill the first boss, so I was saved on Heroic. Now I'm in here on Normal, and there was a glitch, uh, well I assume it was a glitch, before people could solve the entire thing, and then they could invite people into their group that could join this dungeon, and then get to the yellow monocle. They've apparently fixed that, or it might still work for some people, it might still not work. I'm not 100% sure on that. Someone can verify in the comments below. But this guy... His name is uh, Tobias, uh, I think that's how you pronounce that. And uh, they have apparently solved this plenty of times before, I think they said five times before. So I have invited them to a group and they're solving it for uh, this person and I, this person Pepperjack and myself. Uh, this person's apparently colorblind also, so that seems like it's very difficult if you're colorblind. But uh, this, yeah, this individual, Tobias, is uh, solving it for us. And yeah, so hopefully, Hopefully I get it to be Hope, Hopefully I get it done. Okay, I think he might have it. He almost has it. One click from when? Well, there's only two left. Oh, he just has to click that. Should I click it? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna click it. Oh my god! The chest. Thank you. Now, something to be aware of. Do not click this thing in the middle, the stellar refraction device. Well, don't click it after you finish because um, it will reset everything. Oh, someone in our group didn't get it. But this thing in the middle is used to reset everything in case you want to reset. So as I just mentioned, this person in our group, one of the people in our group did come in late. So they actually didn't get it, which really sucks. And this Tobias fellow is resolving it again for them. I did ask uh, Tobias if they had like a Twitch or Twitter or something to shout them out, but they don't. But anyways, I really appreciate it. That's uh, that's amazing. We're, we have two monocles. There's two more. Okay, so this next monocle is the blue monocle. We are in Shatterath right now, lower city. Shatterath, lower city right here. Uh, oh, we're, we're actually back at Griftoth. I guess I'll, I'll just say that. We're back at Griftal. So make sure you have your Talisman of True Treasure tracking on. You have to have that on for like this entire thing. Uh, I mean, if you take it off at any point, it's not a big deal. Just put it back on. And now the letter behind them, this is the blue monocle. The letter behind them is interactable. So it does letter from Miss Graham. Click it. You're reading it. The key factor is successful wasp ignition is a solid ad campaign. Now what this exactly means is if you take all the words with a capital, uh, with starting with a capital letter, so that is the factor wasp in ignition add. That is an anagram for anticipation for Deathwing. Uh, just in case you're curious about that. But anyways, to get this monocle, it's just a giant. Uh, you just 
keep clicking these letters in different locations. So I'll show you where those are now. So this next letter is in a high mountain, Broken Isles High Mountain right here. And it's at 5727, this location right here. All these coordinates will be in the description as well. And we're going to go into this hut. Yes, it is. Okay, actually that, that marker is slightly off. I apologize, but it's in this hut. Click the letter. Of all of guys' cures for nature, the most liberating is death. This next letter, the third letter, is in the old version of Karazhan. So you're going to go through the front entrance. Do not go through the top entrance because the front entrance brings you to the Burning Crusade version of Karazhan. And I'm well aware a lot of people have probably not done this raid in a while. So I'm going to uh, leave it in the video. I will speed it up so you can look at it in a slower speed if you'd like. But I will keep it in the video of, of where I how I get to this letter because the letter is pretty much at the end. It is after the chess event. Uh, yeah, after the chess event. And uh, in like Medivh's chamber or something. Anyways, let's head there. Okay, chess event is done. There we go. You kind of just just uh, control your piece. Alliance would be King Lane, Horde would be War Chief Blackhand. You uh, kill the other target with it. This uh, letter should be up here somewhere. I am pacified apparently. I think we go to the left here. 
because I believe that this is King Lane's chamber. Let's see. I'm still pacified somehow. Yeah, we're still... Is it in this room? Oh, okay. I uh, did I did go past it. So go, go into the room. Once you go through this door right here, you come into this room with a bed. This is um right here. Okay, I can't attack- oh wait, I can't actually attack him now. Anyways, right here. Here's the letter. I sat dumbfounded watching as the most subtle rats reach for the cheese a third time in under an hour. This next letter is at Razorfin Down. So if you forget where that is, Thousand Needles, Razorfin Downs is right here. The entrance to the portal is right there. So you kind of have to move your way around a bunch of uh, bro uh, like thorns and whatnot. Now this one is by the second to last boss, I think. It is located behind the second to final boss. So that would be uh, Blackthorn. Anyways, uh, I'm going to head that way now. And... Oh no, oh no, no I'm not, no. What? Okay, here we are, and I've seemed to pull a bunch of guys, but that's okay. Okay, the letter's right here. It says, Miss Sin will accompany you down the longest streets of the underworld. Now, I have logged out for an extended period of time since I got my last letter. So, you can log out through this process and it won't reset. You can log out. Logging out is fine. Letter number five. We're in uh, Hygel, Mount Hygel, and we're at the Shrine of Aviana. This is at 44.30, 47.30. And we want to come to the top here. The uh, top most house of it, and there's a letter right there. I didn't see it first, but the letter's right there on this uh, this stool, whatever. It says the elite champions will rule the world with the mightiest FC. Now, just a reminder, you do have to click on all of these letters to get the next letter. You have to click on all of them. So let's go to the next one. And now we are at the next one, the sixth letter. We are almost done. This one, we're going to come to Ice Crown at 70.70, 73.30. This is the dam in between Ice Crown and Crystal Song Forest. Right there. We will be uh, going right here. Where this person seems to be. And, oh, uh, the letter's right here. On this spike. It says, Re Codex of Mastering Sine Waves. Now, here we are at the last letter. This won't give us our monocle yet, but it is the last letter. We're at 37.7063 in Town Long Steps. Uh, I actually used my, if you have this, I, if you have the Challenger's Path thing, I just used Challenger's Path and then went to Siege of a New Miozao, however you pronounce that. But anyways, this is where we are in Town Long Steps, Pandaria. And the last letter is right here. Last letter is right here. Uh, mice look so sad when they have a cleft lip. Hoping you succeed, Anna. Now let's go to where we get the la uh, where we get the monocle. And here is the blue monocle. Let's say we're in Borean Tundra, by the way. Blue monocle right there. I grabbed it because the box does seem to be despawned, but I think it has a really quick spawn timer. Anyways, we are uh, at the top of the nexus. We're not in any dungeon. This is at 27.6, 27.2, by the way, in Borean Tundra. I just flew to the top. It's up at the top ring. It's on this ring. You click the box. You get the blue monocle. We have three monocles. We have one more monocle to get. Okay, so here we are for the green monocle, the final one. We are in the Skyreach dungeon. So if you don't remember Skyreaches, it is right here, Spires of Rock and Draenor. Right here is where Sky reaches. Go in there. And I didn't record me clearing the dungeon because it's a... Sky Reach is a pretty linear dungeon. Just go through here. And then you go to the last boss. And make sure you have your treasure tracking necklace on. Talisman of true treasure tracking. Make sure you have that on. And then right by the last boss, there is this thing right here that you, you can interact with. It says basic instructions. Click that. Uh, then this, this, whatever this is, comes up. So, after you've looked at that, click the middle orb. And then this comes up. Now, um, I'm not exactly going to explain what this is, because I don't really know. 
But what I will tell you to do is let me dismiss my pet because he's kind of in the way. So with these uh, four circles here, these four orbs, click the right one, click the up one, click the down one, click the up one, click the right one, then right, then up, then left, down, up, left, down. And we got it. I don't know, just, just do that. <laughs> but you get the sun-worn chest, which gives you the green monocle, the final monocle we need. Now let's go to the next, the next part of this. Okay, so the next part of the hive mind has been discovered and you actually need a group of five people. So you need a group of five people. Uh, four of the people have to have at least one of the different monocles. So you need at least one person with red, one person with yellow, one person with blue, and one person with the green monocle. And then the fifth person, which in my group, that's actually going to be me. You need to come to this location right here at 4169.50 at uh, this house, this building right here in Suramar. So what has to happen? There will be a map on the screen now that has these NPCs. They are going to be marked on this map. You need four of the people to go to those NPCs. So if you have the red monocle, go to the red NPC. Blue monocle, go to the blue NPC. Green monocle, go to the green NPC. And the yellow monocle, go to the yellow NPC. And you have to wear your monocle. Once you wear your, wear your monocle, that NPC will be attackable. And you want to attack that NPC. I think you need to get them past 50% health or you need to get them near 0% health. And they'll cast something called draw power. Now draw power does not last very long. It lasts a few seconds or so. So everyone DPSing those enemies need to get them to that point at the same time. Now for the fifth person, which that's me in this case, as I mentioned, you need to come to this uh, part right here, which I will say the coordinates once more. It is a uh, 4169.50 in Suramar. Go into this house and go up here in this building all the way in the back. There is uh, beams right here that are being, uh, that are, well, you can't go past them. Now, when each of those NPCs draw power, these beams will go away. So you need them all to go the way at the same time because draw power only lasts a few seconds. Hopefully what I'm saying makes sense. You essentially just need the four people in your group to DPS their enemies at the same time. Go through the store and uh, there will be a cat toy on the other side that uh, I will interact with. And once I get to that point, I will, uh, I will, I will say what happens next. Okay, we just had some breakthrough information here. I'm hearthing. Uh, I don't think that the Secrets Discord knows about this, but I'm about to let them know. Uh, you, everyone has to either have war mode on or no one has to have war mode on. If you have war mode on, it will mess up. If only a few of you have war mode on and the rest don't, it will mess up. Everyone has to be in the same phase. Okay, I got in. Oh, I'm dumb. You have to have your true your treasure tracking neck on. You have to have your treasure tracking neck on. Talisman treasure tracking, have that on. Okay, I'm gonna click this now. There's a lost cat toy. When you have that on, it will appear. I'm gonna click it. It will hurt me, and it hits me for six two six two nine. You have to know that damage. Six two six two nine. So click your combat log, it will tell you how much damage. And you have to know that. Now, with your group, head to Court of Stars. Into the Court of Stars dungeon. Okay, so we are in Court of Stars. And by the way, well, we're in Court of Stars. At this location, you can just jump over right here. There we go, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Okay. So now that we're in this courtyard area, we need to go to Lady Chatton. Lady Chatton. And by the way, if you had a four-digit number, if the Lost Cat Toy did a four-digit number damage to you, make it zero is the first one. So don't pet the first cat. So we have five cats here. We have Miss... I'm gonna dismiss my pet. Miss Fluffy Muffins, Ash, Bella, Shadow, and Mew. Miss Fluffy Muffins is number one, Shadow is number two, Mew is number three, Ash is number four, Bella is number five. You need one person in your group to pick a cat, and corresponding to the damage you is how many times you pet that cat. So I'm petting Miss Fluffy Muffins. Since my damage is 6, 2, 
six to nine, I will pet Miss Fluffy Muffins six times. Which means Shadow will be, will be pet twice, Mew will be pet six times, Ash will be pet twice, and Belle will be pet nine times. Now there's a 15 second buff when you pet them. So the person who has to pet the cat nine times, which the nine times cat is Bella, they start first. And then the sixes will start, and they have to all have the number at the same time. They all have to have the buff at the same time. Okay. Bella. Okay. Oh god. Okay, so Bella got to three, so now we're petting our sixes next. Okay. There we go. Oh god, it's happening! It's happening! Oh, you have to have your talisman on and an orb will spawn. Make sure you have the talisman on. Okay, now we're at a puzzle that has not been solved yet. So, group, let's solve it together. So I'm gonna walk here and I'm gonna click this platform. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, and if you fall, you just uh, appear at the start. Okay, so I'm going to go forward. I'm going to go forward again. Okay, he's gonna go forward and to the left. Okay, he just went forward. Now I'm going forward. Okay. Okay, uh, forward, left. Now that person's going to go forward. Two to the left. Four will go forward. Okay, two goes to the left. Four will go f forward. Left forward. Now two goes forward left. Okay. Now three goes backwards there. Okay, he just went forward and then to the right, to the right, to the right again. Three will go forward. Which is over there. One, that's me, I go right, forward, okay, three will go back, forward, and to the right, now one will go forward, to the left, okay, so far so good, four goes forward, it's right there, now two goes back, forward, Two goes back, forward again. Interesting. Okay, then he goes to the right. Three will go forward. He's five, by the way. One will go forward to the right. Okay. Two will now go forward to the right. Forward to the right over there. Four goes forward. Two goes to the left and forward. That's over there. Four will go forward. That's right there. One goes to the right and then forward. Three goes left. Four goes forward. Okay. Three goes forward and forward. Five goes forward. One goes left. I zoom out more. Four goes to the right. Okay, five goes to the left, it seems. Two goes forward, it's over there. Four will go forward, that's right here. 
5 goes forward, forward, 1 will go forward, that's me, 3 will go to the left, right there, 5 goes to the right, and forward, 4 goes forward, now 1 goes to the right, 5 goes to the left, 1 will go forward, 2 goes forward, 3 reset, 3 will go to the far left platform over there, okay? 3 goes forward. 2 goes forward. 3 goes forward, forward, forward. 2 goes back. 4 goes to the right. 5 goes forward. 2 goes forward, right, forward, and then three goes forward, forward, forward. I assume forward again, forward again. Okay, now we all exit. Yep, everyone exit vehicle. There we go. That was that puzzle. Uh, that entire thing will be in the description, a giant, a giant paste bin of it all. So now we're at this door. We open the door, and then we have this light lock thing that goes around. What do we do with the light lock? Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, it's working. I don't know what's happening right now, but something something's happening. We're getting people to the other side. Okay. Now I'm on. I've made it to the other side. Okay, so now they're about to drop another person off, and then I'm going to get on. Let's see. Let's see. I'm on. This person, it should allow both of us to go by, because we've done it before. Okay, so now all three of us. Okay, this is it. This is the moment of truth. This is it. Yes, we got it. We're at the end. We had all of us make it. Okay, now what? How do we get- Okay, we all made it through. Now we all have to stand in these modules. I'll stand here. It's the hive mind. Click the hive mind. This is it. Oh, I, ha I have it. The source of this item was never- I don't know what that means. Oh, Jesus Christ. We are all brains now. Ground speed 100%. Join my hive mind. Apparently like five people can join the hive mind at a time and it increases the speed. Okay, now, so we're going 
10%, 10%, 10%, 10%. So an extra 40%, I don't count. I count as the already 100%. What if we jump? Oh, we can't like jump off the edge or anything. Anyways, with that last one, it seemed like it was kind of random. But you have to find out what combination of people can go over and what combination of people can't. I, I apologize, I can't really give you a straight answer on how to do that last one with the lifelock. But it's it seems like it picks at random from your group of who can go over with who and who can't go over with who. So you kind of have to find like a middle ground there. That's the Hive Mind Mount. This has been a long video. I apologize like three times as long as the Lucid Nightmare one. Uh, the only thing I will say, which I noticed at the end, but I will obviously put it at the beginning of the video, is with the monocles. It seems like you don't need to get all four monocles. Uh, you just need to at least get one monocle. Or I actually don't think you need to get any monocles if you get into a group where everyone else has the monocles. But uh, it would be nice to get one monocle to be nice to your group. And the green monocle is the easiest one to get. Uh, but yeah, there's our... Really nothing else I have to say. A huge shout out to the WoW Secrets Discord community. This was awesome. They found it out. We found it out together. It was amazing. I can't hearth because I'm pacified apparently. Uh, all coordinates and the written guide for the WoW Secrets website will be in the description along with all coordinates. Uh, but yeah, that's the entire video guys. If you enjoyed, if it was helpful to you, you can leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.